I wanted to post an update on uh, this new front flower bed that I have just recently planted, finished planting actually this morning. Um, I had um, a bunch of plants that I was able to get from my local grocery store at a very, very good price. And I wasn't planning to put in this new area, but uh, I ended up digging this out and planting this new bed this fall because of these beautiful, beautiful, pretty plants that I was able to get from the store. So I want to show you how, I, how I've designed this um, area. So in front here, I put in the two lavender plants. So these are the English lavender plants. They have this beautiful uh, purple uh, color. Uh, they have more of a lighter purple um, color lavender than the darker ones and they are just looking really happy and healthy they're gonna get a lot of sun here and and do really well i like it lining my walkway because it's going to um, add a nice scent and color to this walkway and so going down here i added a bunch of cone flowers so these are the cone flower mix uh, so I got, I think, about 10 of these plants yesterday, so I added them in a drift here. Uh, so this is also lining my walkway. So next year in spring, I'm going to add some, some kind of a ground cover uh, on the side here that can spill over, maybe a creeping phlox. I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking about adding that next year already. Um, and then... Here it is, here are the hydrangeas. This is the little lime hydrangea. These are the three that I planted here. They get to be about three to five feet tall. So I think I could probably keep them around the four feet, three to four feet mark, just so that I don't have a very tall hedge here. So these were not in the best shape when I bought them yesterday. They have a lot of broken branches and a lot of lost leaves. But as you can see, the leaves are regrowing. So I think these are going to be really healthy here. They have been planted in the ground and they are more protected from the wind. So I think they're going to do really well here. Uh, so this is the third one. This one was in the best shape compared to the other two. Um, and I also planted a bunch of cone flowers right in the front over here. And then I did a drift of bobo hydrangeas right in front over here beside these roses. So yeah, so these are looking good. They're in the ground. This bed is really looking good with hydrangeas and cone flowers. And I love, love, love all these colors together uh, the mix of cone flowers really looks good against the hydrangeas um, and also um, thinking of planting some tulip bulbs and daffodil bulbs in this bed so that in spring this is colorful as well and then as those die back I will get these cone flowers blooming and uh, also the hydrangeas so the bobo hydrangeas will also get to be about two to three feet tall and wide so it's going to fill up this space really well and be covered in a lot of blooms uh, they are also going to bloom a little bit earlier than the little lime hydrangeas they bloom i think by early july they should be blooming and then the little lime should bloom early august so this is going to add a constant um, uh, color wave in this walkway and front garden so I'm really really excited and happy uh, creating this bed um, just just yesterday and today and it's amazing what a few plants can do to your curb appeal to the house and to your to your mood like it's really made me happy uh, getting these in the ground saving them uh, making sure that they have a nice home and uh, they are tucked in before winter so 
a lot of them were breaking and 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 getting destroyed um and i and i really wanted to have them in my garden and i think they're going to be just stunning and beautiful in this bed so here they are i wanted to give you an update let me know what you guys think about this combination do you like it do you have a similar combination in your garden and 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 really i'm very very excited with all these cone flowers and all the pollinator magic i'm gonna get here next year um, i do have some cone flowers in this this bed here as well behind the roses and i get a lot of monarch butterflies and other butterflies visiting this garden so i'm really excited it's it's shaped up really well and um, the bed is ready for this year and We'll see next year if I decide to add some other plants in this area. I might make this bed a little deeper, but for now I like how the plants that I got yesterday have already filled up this area and it's looking like it's, it was always here. So I, I'm very, very thrilled with the outcome. Uh, thanks again for watching this video on this beautiful sunny 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 morning here and uh, I wanted to uh, show you these pretty plants and uh, give you an update on this bed um, if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for for more updates and videos on plants have a fabulous fabulous day